Hello folks. So um, I'm getting ready to put the 196 back in my Scout 800A. And so I'm kind of doing those last minute things where you find all the bolts you have, you know, for the different parts. I'm gonna paint the bolts. Um, they go through, get cleaned up, get my tube clean. I'm gonna paint up my water pump, some other things. But one thing I came across is this, this right here. It's the PCV valve, the positive crankcase ventilation valve, I think is what it stands for. Uh, you can hear it rattle. It goes on top of the valve cover here. I know that in um, newer newer Scouts and the Scout 2, from what I'm looking online, it sounds like it, uh, it, it looks somewhat different. Maybe it's an inline and not actually mounted on the valve cover. Not really sure about that. Uh, but mine screws is threaded right into the top of the valve cover. And so I was doing a little reading online trying to find one, you know, because I figure well, a little part like that probably should go ahead and replace it as you go along. And then I found out that um, you actually can service them and clean them. Um, so you disconnect it. Notice it has the two, two wrenches there. It is a 13 sixteenths on both ends. I'm double checking to look at my wrenches here. Um, Downside to being blind. I work out of a little shed. Where'd it go? I just had them. I'm gonna have to do this over now because this is stupid. Ah! Alright. Yep. 13 sixteenths. Both ends pop it apart, unscrews. I recommend finding a nice table, a place like this, uh, where you can work uh, over top. Cause there's things in there you don't want to lose them so unscrewing it and what you're going to find inside is one about 50 years of dirt which is what i found inside of mine when i took it off i could blow easily either direction uh, there was no no stopping airflow um so i took my part spent my time cleaning it out so let's take a look here at what we got the whoa don't make you guys sick. So um, we have one small spring and one uh, air direction, you know, stop it from going through thing. Pretty simple setup. Spring first into the large portion, large part. And then this goes pointy end down right in the center of the spring. So it'll end up looking like that. Okay, um, and they thread together. What I found was here on the end of this piece, there's lots of buildup of grease and grime. And so what it was not doing is it wasn't seating softly or firmly or securely against this part, okay? It wasn't seating well. And that's the way it would stop it from, from letting air pass through. And so because I had so much gunk cleaning, cleaning that edge, cleaning that edge, um, blowing all the dirt. Um, in Alaska, we have tons of silt out here in Western Alaska. And so it was just, you know, 50 years of built up. Anyway, it's gonna go back together now, okay? Um, and I'll place it together here, there, screw it back together pretty tightly. What I read online is this is a like standard maintenance. And if I blow through, I can make it barely go through that way. Blows easily that way. And I believe that is about as good as it gets. One thing I thought is I might put just the smallest amount of tension on that spring just to make sure that over 50 years of being compressed in there, it wasn't, you know, not tons. It didn't change it very much, maybe a millimeter or two. All right, so put it back together. I'm gonna call that part done. Last, I wanted to add uh, one thing I forgot. So when you install it, you want to make sure it is um, in place so that air can go out because it's a positive valve, positive pressure valve, so it's letting air out of the um, valve. So you want it to have it this way. So if I put my mouth on it, I can suck through it easily, but I cannot blow back down through it. 
barely make any any air at all moves. So there you go. Hope it was helpful. I looked online. I couldn't find anything. So I figured I'd show you why I was doing it. Um, take care. If you like, subscribe, all those kinds of things. Thank you for watching.